Hey folks, thank you. Thank you for loving us. We've crossed 100 watch hours in just two weeks. In our last video, we explained why we need trigonometry. In this video, we'll see how trigonometry can help us. For free doubt sessions, write to us at info at .com. You can also call us at 9650177361. All right, let's start. Second topic of this chapter is trigonometric ratios. In this topic, we will learn what are trigonometric ratios, relationship between different ratios, and ratios of some angles? Okay, let's pause for the moment and think why we need to study trigonometric ratios. It is not at all tough to comprehend. Now, to understand, let's bring back the triangle from the first topic. What we need to do here? We have to find the relation between base and height of the triangle through angle theta. We usually call this height as perpendicular and third side as hypotenuse. We all know that. But angle is measured in degrees and side in meter, centimeter. So we can't just equate and say that angle theta is equal to base, perpendicular or hypotenuse. What we actually do is we find ratios between sides and equate them to functions of angles called trigonometric functions. There are six of them. Sine, in short we write SIN, cosine or cos, tangent tan, cotangent cot, second sec, and cosecant cosec. By definition, sine of theta, written as sine theta, is equal to ratio of perpendicular to hypotenuse. If perpendicular is P and hypotenuse is H, sine theta is P by H. Ratio of base to hypotenuse is cos theta. So cos theta is b by h. Tan theta is perpendicular to base, that is p by b. We have only three sides and six functions. So rest of the three functions are simply reciprocals of these ratios. Cot is reciprocal of tan, which means it is equal to base by perpendicular, that is b by b. Sec is reciprocal of cos, so it is hypotenuse by base, that is h by b. And cosec is reciprocal of sine, so it is hypotenuse by perpendicular, that is h by b. So obviously sine, cos, tan are also reciprocals. Sine, cos, etc. written alone have no meaning. They are meaningful only when they are written with angles. However, keep in mind that they are not multiplied with angles. Sine into theta means nothing. So if for two angles A and B we have same sine values, that is, sine A is equal to sine B, we cannot cancel sine like this and say that A is equal to B. This is not correct. In fact, it does not make any sense. Actually, A is not always equal to B, it's sine is equal to sine of B. So these six functions that we have just seen now are equal to ratios, hence we call them trigonometric ratios. So, this table gives us the desired relation between angles and sides. So, in short, cosec is 1 by sine, sec is 1 by cos, and cot is 1 by tan. These are reciprocal relations. Now, if I do a little manipulation with sine and cos, we can see that sine by cos is equal to p by h upon b by h which is equal to p by b, which we know is equal to tan. Similarly, you can verify that cot is cos by sine. It is very obvious too, since cot is reciprocal of tan. These two are quotient relations. Don't worry if you don't remember the names of these relations. Just remember what the relations are. So how does all this help us? Let's pick the example that we were discussing in the first topic of this chapter where I have to find the height of the term. In a right angle triangle one, if theta is equal to 60 degrees, the horizontal distance is 50, and the vertical length is p, we can say that tan 60 is equal to perpendicular by base, which is equal to p by 50. We get p is equal to 15 to tan 60. So we can use the knowledge of trigonometric ratios to find the value of p. If only we knew the value of tan 60, which we will learn next. We will find sine, cos, tan of 60, 30, 45, 90 and 0 degrees. 
All right, we'll see you next Saturday, 31st March. Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.